What's up guys, welcome back to another squad builder and today we're going to be making a squad around some hero cards which absolutely, which look absolutely fantastic. Now we're going to start with a thing goal, um, for me the best keeper in this game, the most reliable. I don't think he's ever made a mistake for me because well, for any time I've used him but he's just just super player, I, I credit, oh. I advise you definitely to use him if you're looking for a solid goalkeeper in this game, which there aren't too many of because it's broken. Now, the first centre back we're going to go for is Company, and the second centre back we're going to go for is another Belgian BPL. Tongan, both Company are just easy to go to centre back for me in the BPL. And the Tongan, even, I don't normally use him, even because he's got higher work rates, but 6 foot 2 height is really helpful. And even though he's got higher attacking work rates, it don't, re it don't really show on the pitch. He stays back quite a lot, which I quite like. Now in right back, we're going to go with another BPL right back, and we are going with Hector Bellerin, this guy is a bronze, and for me, when I saw the bronze most consistent team of the season when it was rumoured, I thought he was definitely going to be in it, but I was it was a shame not to see him, but I, believe, I can see on FIFA 16 that this guy is going to be an amazing silver card to use. Now in left back, we go with... Not BPL. We go with we go to Norway. Interesting country. Oh, sorry. And Norway. We're going to go with a uh, beast left back. Actually, that some of you might not know, but some of you also might know. It's his name is Hamoud. This guy's actually got really nice stats for an attacking right, for an attacking attacking left back. Higher work rate. The only thing that lets him down is defending and dribbling. He's mainly the weak link of this team, in my opinion. Then left wing, we're going to leave the hero cards to the end. It's El Yanuzi. Five star skiller on this game. It's clear. Great balance. Great. He's just, he's all around great player to use, especially if you like to skill. Now, right wing, we're going to go with an actual, actually a BPL player. And the BPL player we're going with is Alexis Sanchez. This guy is just, uh, he's a really good player for me. Um, one of my go-to right wingers, him and Quadrado are the ones that I'll, I I advise you to get if you're looking to build a BPL squad or a hybrid with any BPL links. Then centre mid, get another perfect link to then too. It's Jack Wilshire in form. He cost me 130k. Wasn't that much a couple of weeks ago, but uh, but it's gone up in price because he was extinct. But everyone's of course listening to the cards because of the team of the week that's been released this week today. Which, if you don't know, Reddington Tains that record breaker Ronaldo, who I really want to get hold of, and Suarez, and also the hero card is still in packs, so everyone's sending players they can open packs. Which, yeah, so now we go on to our three hero cards, and the first hero card is. Johansson. The Celtic player, I packed him as the first one I packed. He's actually got really nice stats. Love. He's going to be in the um, team of the season most consistent as well, so I have another decent card. He's got really good free kicks. Celtic, so it was hard for me to try and link him up if I didn't want to play the Celtic left hand side, but I decided to go with Norwegian, and this side is actually very effective. And now the cam card, I got this guy actually twice, which is Ward for his heroics with Rotherham keeping them up in the championship. He's actually got a really nice card. I find a really influential player in the in the midfield. Um and he's just really good, yeah, Pat him. He's quite expensive actually. He's ninety five K. More expensive than some of the others, which is a bit surprising. And yeah, he's actually quite a good player. And to fin fin uh, to finish off this squad, we're gonna go with Garner and we'll also packed him. The last one I packed, this guy's actually really good. Look at those stats. Good stats. Gr good Good pace, decent dribbling, good physical, and really good shooting. So he's perfect for a silver card. I think listen down his passing a bit, but he's actually a really nice card to use. And um, to be fair, the only way I I would have I would want to improve this squad if I was is I really want to pack that um, that Callum Wilson because I, I can't get him on the market. He's too rare. And he's just super. But if you've been, if you've enjoyed this squad builder, make sure to drop a like, hit that sub, hit that sub button, and just thanks for watching and peace.